Wildlake, and welcome to the first episode of The Roar for this school year. I hope you all had a great summer and a great first few weeks of school. But now it's time to start thinking about joining school activities. Do you like math? Join the math team. Come to meetings on Wednesdays right after school in room 337. The environmental club is looking for new members. If you're interested in picking up the recycling, working on the rain garden, or competing in the Envirothon, come to meetings on Wednesday in room 332 and on Fridays in room 234. Interested in going to Europe for spring break 2017? See Ms. Pennington in room 324 or Ms. Wallen in room 220 for more information. Do you enjoy reading? Do you have a pile of books you are waiting to read? Interested in sharing what you've read? See Ms. Palmateer in the Media Center for more information. Come to Community Youth Summit tomorrow, September 24th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. here at Wild Lake High School. Informative interactive workshops for teens and parents. Breakfast and lunch will be provided. Presented in collaboration with the HCPSS Black Student Achievement Program and Office of Community Outreach and Engagement. Register at the website below. Attention seniors, representatives from different colleges will be coming to Wild Lake over the next few months. You can register to attend these sessions now on Navion. Make sure to sign up for your schools before registration closes. And now here is Mr. Cohen with his first message of the year. Good morning, Wild Lake, and welcome to the fourth Friday in September and my first announcement for the school year. Again, I'm Larry Cohen. As always, I hope you're all doing well. I have not seen you since last June of last school year, and I am very happy to be invited back and to continue to remain a part of your great school with its wonderful students, great administrations, teachers, and staff, and its rich history, spirit, and tradition. As I told you at the end of last year, it is now on to the senior and graduating class of 2017 and the graduating classes of 2018, 2019, and welcome to the freshman class of the graduating class of 2020. I have to tell you that I'm also very happy to see that you've always come back this year healthy and safe. That is always my priority for you, and I hope that you always make safety and health a priority for yourself and others. I urge you to always act in a safe and responsible manner. We only get one shot at life, and we want to make sure that we do everything necessary and possible to protect the health and safety of ourselves and others, and we do that by making smart decisions and appropriate decisions every day, both in school and out of school, all of the time. To the senior class of 2017 and all future classes, please, no empty seats at graduation. After health and safety, my hope is that you're all nice and kind to each other and that you treat everyone fairly and respectfully. The people I most admire in my life are people who are nice, kind, caring, and respectful. That's how I judge other people, and that's how I expect to be judged as well. Number three in my priorities of life is doing the very best in everything we do, and that certainly includes how well you choose to do in school. And please notice I use the word choose because I believe that how well we do in school and in our grades and how much we get involved in the many extracurricular activities that school has to offer is a choice. If you've done well in the past, please continue on that very same path. If you have not, the time is now to make the choice to work hard and not give up. Always ask yourself, am I truly doing the very best I can, or am I trying to get by with doing as little as possible? Before my closing comments, remember that your success or lack of success in anything you do is truly your choice. It always comes down to choice. My choice is for you to be successful. What is your choice for yourself? And now, my closing comments as always. Work hard, never give up. Maintain your sense of humor. You'll always need that. Use your time wisely. Always do your very best. Have a good positive attitude. Have confidence in yourself and your abilities. Be honest with yourself and others. Respect yourself and others. Always be in control of your attitude, actions, and behaviors. Think before you act and think before you react. Be nice and kind to each other. Follow through on your commitments and responsibilities. Use good judgment. Make good decisions and good choices. Keep both your body and mind healthy and strong, and always keep love in your heart. Stay healthy, please be careful out there, and as always and most importantly, please come back to school safely on Monday and every day. Thank you for listening, have a great day, have a great weekend, love to you all, and of course, keep smiling. Finally, September is National Suicide Prevention Month. If you or someone you know need help, 
talk to a trusted adult or call the Maryland Youth Crisis Hotline. The number is located in the front of your student planner. That's it for this week. Have a great weekend, Wildlife, and we'll see you next time.